A physicist and his students are investigating new ways to form protective coatings for electronics, medical implants, and other devices. The Rutgers Camden Research combines laser physics, materials science, and biomedical engineering. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Experiments here are probing the fundamental physics and chemistry behind a technique invented by naval researchers less than a decade ago with the long-term goal of making it a practical tool for a number of different industries. Basically in the lab we do like a laser interaction with materials and trying to know the properties of the materials. The laser light they use is invisible to our eyes. The red beams seen here are strictly for alignment and monitoring. And the materials in question are polymers, from plastics to proteins, along with solvents that make the polymers workable. They're very useful in a variety of contexts, but um, what our focus is on, on thin and uniform coatings. Long story short, we take a frozen polymer target blast it with a laser and you get a really smooth coating a nanometer on the nanometer scale um, of the polymer and the polymer remains undamaged by the laser. Our worst films, the, the, the roughest films that we grow, are uh, have about a hundred nanometers uh, or so of uh, RMS surface roughness. What the industry would like is less than one nanometer surface roughness and that's what we're trying to uh, to do with our technique. We've gotten down to about five or six nanometers. That means they've made coatings so smooth and uniform that the average distance between high and low points is about a thousandth of the diameter of a red blood cell. And they consider that just a good start. One of the most unusual features of this NSF-funded effort, led by Associate Professor Daniel Bubb and postdoctoral researcher Ulnas Gurudas, is the extent to which it's being carried out by undergraduates and by design, by biology, as well as physics students. We can add kind of a more biological perspective, really, so we can use it to research um, coatings that are antibacterial, uh, how cell growth will affect a coating, how a coating will affect cell growth. And so you might think of stents, artificial joints, things like that, that you'd want to put a polymer that's uh, biocompatible, that breaks down in the blood. Other applications might be in so-called organic electronics and flexible plastic video displays. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Camden.